So here's a garden update as of October 2nd, 2020. We are now into fall. We're into the cooler weather. And the sun is getting lower in the sky. The days are getting shorter. So we have our fall garden planted, which includes a bunch of lettuces and kale. There's some carrots. It's hollyhock. I planted that this year, but next year it will get a flower. And that is um, foxglove right there. Some salvia. This is uh, Love Lies Bleeding Red Amaranth. That will next year bloom. A lot of these smaller things in the flower beds will bloom next year. I do have some annuals in there. Over here we have red Samarin lettuce along with some other romaine lettuce and then behind it is red oak leaf lettuce and then we have some peas climbing up there are bamboo shoots swiss chard there's two different kinds of kale here that are hardy for cold weather we have dinosaur kale and siberian kale we have yellow and purple no yellow and red carrots right here And we have some more greens there, some more kale over here. We have iceberg lettuce, some mustard greens. The dog is going nuts. Uh, over here, some Chinese cabbage. Right there, I keep losing one. An animal keeps eating the same one. I've replanted it two times already, and it ate it again. Uh, over here, some collard greens, mustard greens. I don't know if I said that. Uh, I have some really cool caterpillars over here eating all of the rest of the um, all the rest of the parsley. So you can see all the caterpillars here. They're going to be um, monarch butterflies and painted lady butterflies. You can see them all in there. They already ate that one. They moved on. They ate that one. This one's growing back. They'll come back next year too. There's some more peas back there. Three different kinds of peas for the winter. We've got cauliflower here. Over here we've got uh, some more lettuce here, some more mustard greens. These are yellow, yellow wax beans. You can see them there, they're yellow. Uh, over here, some more samarin lettuce. Some red oak leaf lettuce, romaine lettuce, something is eating my beans there. We've got orange carrots here. This is still getting flowers on it. And there's still some purple peppers. Over here we have, oh, all the way over there we also have spinach. And we have spinach over here. Um, we have turnips. We have broccoli, some more peppers, tomatoes back there. Oh, there's some yellow peppers there, little minis. And over here is, uh, this is pineapple sage, and it's just getting its flowers now. It looks beautiful. And we've got some, oh, the eggplant is getting heavy for that plant. There's some eggplant still. Um, and the, sunflowers and the zinnias are still doing really good. The only thing left is the Mexican sunflowers. There's my pile of stuff that I've been cleaning out of the garden. And then over here we have all different kinds of kale that are getting acclimated to the weather outside. Um, I have a whole bunch of different kinds of kale and I also have golden beets here. And then in the greenhouse is a bunch of other stuff but well, that went to flower that was cabbage we've got leeks that are ready to go i've got some flowers back there uh, we have other stuff over here that's growing really well there's a whole bunch of other kale there and some more amaranth under there so that is it that is an update from the garden for the fall
I think we actually have more things planted for the fall than we do the than we did the summertime. Fall 2020, cold weather garden. Everything's coming in very nicely. The weather has been agreeable for this time of year, except if I could just keep the little animals out of here, we'll be in great shape. <laughs>